Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a sequence in Avenger. So the first thing I'm going to do is load the Avenger plugin. And then we've got the initial preset. And so the first thing I'm going to do is create a baseline. So here where it says OS1, I'm going to double click. I'm going to type in base. I'm going to play a note on the keyboard. So I'm going to choose a bass sound by clicking on here and factory bass and let's go for deep house bass. And now I'm going to create an arpeggiated line. So the first thing I want to do is click arpeggiator and then I'm going to also click here where it says ARP1. And that will activate the arpeggiator. And so I'm going to remove some of these notes by right clicking on the notes that I want to remove. Okay, and next I'm going to add some drums. So I'm going to go to this drum section here and I'm going to click where it says Electro 1 and load a different drum kit by pressing these arrows. We can also scroll through here as well. Let's go for EDM 1. Let's go to Drum Sequencer. Now I want to put in my own drum pattern from scratch so I'm going to click Clear. And then I can draw in my own notes. I'm just going to make this a bit shorter by turning this wheel where it says length. So I need to press this on where it says drum SQ and then when I press the keyboard it should play both at the same time. Okay, but that drum, I need to change that because it's um, it's got like a very tuned sound. So I'm going to go with EDM7 and then I'm going to go back to Drum SQ and click Clear again and then write in the new notes. Making the length shorter again by dragging this wheel by length. change that um, snare sound as well. Now I'm going to add some chords. So I'm going to click solo by clicking chords and then clicking on the S. Let's find a cool sound to use. Let's go for that one and let's go to ARP and this time let's make a new ARP by clicking on the plus and then let's click up here where it says ARP1 and choose ARP2 and press it on. I want to use chords so where it says up I'm going to click on up and then change it to poly. Okay, and if I take off the solo, it should all play at the same time. Now, as you can hear, the bass was also playing an ARP, but I don't want that to happen. I want it to just play a single note, so if I go to the bass track and solo that one. Well, I'm going to have to go back to ARP 1. 
Then I'm going to click where it says fixed notes and choose chord detection. So when I play a chord, it'll just detect what bass line it thinks I want and it will play that note. So let's hear all those together. Let's add in a effect sound as well. Creating a new arp and we just want the effects to play towards the end of the phrase. So we need to click where it says ARP1 and choose ARP3. I want it to be, to be a long note, so I'm going to remove these notes and extend this one. Let's try that one. Sounds pretty cool. Let's add an open hi-hat to the drums as well. I want to make that hi-hat a bit shorter, so I'm going to click where it says open higher, click edit, and then where it says end, I'm going to drag that to the left and make it shorter. And now I want to have a lead sound that I can play with the right hand, so I'm going to Go where it says saw and then choose a new sound. So samples, factory lead. Let's go crystal lead, try that one. Okay, let's add some reverb to it as well. So let's go where it says plus and choose AA reverb. To increase the amount there as well and then I'm going to change the zones so where it says zones at the moment if I play a chord it's gonna play the lead sound as well which I don't want so where, where we can find the lead track here somewhere I'm just gonna rename it first to lead okay and then there's a note I'm playing there, that E. So I just want the lead to play from F sharp onwards, from this F sharp there. Or basically from the G onwards. So a bit like an arranger keyboard where the chords section will usually finish around the F sharp there. Okay. So now if I press any of the low notes, there's no sound. If I press the G onwards, we get sound. So I just need to adjust the rest of these. So the effects, I don't want that to play on the lead section. The chords, I don't want those to play on the lead section, so I'm moving them to the left. And same with the bass. So let's try that. So I first need to unsolo the lead. Okay, let's go. Huh. So the chord section sounds awful. 
and that's because um, we need to make the transpose higher. Let's try that one. Okay, then all of the sounds together. And I can play the lead as well. Okay, so that was just a quick video on how to create a sequence in Avenger, and I hope you found it useful.